Hey everyone and welcome back to the Motopress YouTube channel where we make WordPress life a whole lot easier. Today I have something exciting to show you. Meet Motopress Events Calendar, your new favorite way to organize, manage and showcase events on WordPress. Imagine the simplicity of Google Calendar but right inside your website. It's a sleek visual builder a total game changer for managing event schedules. Whether you're running a yoga studio, tutoring business, or hosting events at a venue, this plugin's got you back. In this video, we'll cover everything you need to get started. How to install and activate the plugin, create different types of events, one time, repeating, full day and multi-day, and of course, how to edit and delete them. And the cherry on top, I'll show you how to seamlessly display your calendar on your site using the events calendar block. Ready to simplify your scheduling and boost productivity? Let's get into it! For over eight years, we've been supporting our free timetable plugin, trusted by over 30,000 users, but we knew it was time to level up, time to give your scheduling tool that's not just professional, but also incredibly user-friendly. With Events Calendar, you just open the calendar, click a date or time, and add your event details. Yep, it's that simple. No head scratching, no steep learning curve. Whether you need to manage classes, venues, or community events, this plugin makes your workflow feel as familiar as using Google Calendar or Apple Calendar. We've all been there, fighting with calendar plugins that make you add events in one place and manage them in another. And let's not even talk about the guessing game of whether your events will actually land on the right date and time once you hit publish. Not fun. So we thought, why not make this easier? We took a page out of the playbook of your favorite calendar apps. You know, the ones simple, intuitive and all in one place. The result? A single interface where you see everything at a glance. With our brand new events calendar, your events, dates and settings are all accessible from one seamless environment right inside WordPress. No guesswork, no jumping between screens, just you and your beautifully organized schedule every time you open it. All right, to install the Motopress Events Calendar using the upload method, head over to your WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins, click Add New, then click the Upload Plugin button right at the top. Now choose the zip file for the Motopress Events Calendar plugin that you've downloaded. Hit Install Now. Once the installation is done, click Activate Plugin. And voila! The Motopress Events Calendar is now part of your WordPress toolkit. Simple, right? Let's keep going and get those events rolling. All right, now that the plugin's ready to roll, let's add a calendar and some events. It's super easy, just follow along. First, from your dashboard, go to Calendar, Events. If you're using the plugin for the first time, you'll be prompted to watch a demo guide. This pop-up will help you get started. Now I'm ready to click Create Calendar. 
Remember, no calendar, no events. So, it's your first step. A pop-up will appear. Give your calendar a title. Something that makes sense to you. Because this title is for your eyes only in the admin dashboard. And once you've named it, hit create. Perfect. Now that you've got your calendar, it's time to add events. To add an event, switch to the knitted calendar view first. You've got options month, week, day or list view. Pick the one that works best for you in your particular case. And just like that, you're ready to start creating events. You can add events based on their timing and frequency. For example, let's say I want to add a one-time event for a specific date, like a special concert. I switch to the week view and pick the time by dragging vertically to set the duration. In the pop-up window, enter a title and click Create. Now let's customize those event details. Since we've already decided this event won't be repeated, we can skip that part. I've added a location behind the scenes using the Locations menu, but you can easily add one right from this menu too. Next up is the organizer. Just type the name, press enter and select it. Or if you prefer, you can add an organizer uh, through the organizers menu uh, before adding the event. You can also customize event color to make it pop categories to keep everything organized, tags to make your event easier to find, and don't forget to add a description for all the juicy details. Once you're happy with everything, click Create. And there you have it! Your event is shaping up nicely. Let's create another calendar. Why stop at one? And hey, you can add as many as you want. Next, I'll show you how to add a repeating event that happens at the same time. I switch to the weekly view. Feel free to use the day view if that's more your style, and add a new event. From the drop-down, I select Weekly. This means my event will show up on the calendar every Monday. Then I add the usual details. Location, organizer, Pick a color and add categories and tags. Please remember you can always come back later and add more details if needed. Great, I'm done. My recurring event is now all set to repeat itself like clockwork. Repeating events don't have to stick to just one time. Let's explore a more flexible option. Once you've set the time for your event, head to the drop-down menu and skip the Does Not Repeat option. Instead, select Customize. This unlocks a whole new set of possibilities. A new drop-down appears and I choose Week. From there, I click on all the days of the week that apply. Need this event to go on forever? 
you can set it never to end like I do. Or if you prefer, you can set a specific end date or limit the number of repeats. After adding all the details, I hit create. And there it is, exactly how I need it. Perfect. But hold your horses, it's not the end just yet. I want my event to happen three times a week. So here is how I make that magic happen. I switch to the day view and pick the exact time slot I need. In the pop-up window, I select Add time to existing event. From the drop-down list, I choose the event I want to tweak. Then I click Add. Need to customize the recurrence? Go for it! While you are at it, double-check the location and organizer details to keep everything on point. And when it's all set, I hit Add. Great! My event now shows up exactly when I need it, three times a week at different times on Saturday, just like that. To add a full day event, start by switching to the month view, then click on a date and the all day toggle will be automatically turned on. From there, all I need to do is add the event details just like before, nothing new here. Once the event is set up, you are free to jump back in and edit it. For example, I add a description and tweak the event name. To add a multi-day event, start in the month view and drag horizontally across the days you need. In the pop-up window, type the event title and click Create. Then go ahead and customize the event details to your liking. Now let's say I want to add a specific time. No problem, I click the pencil icon turn off the all-day toggle and adjust the time as needed. A quick check and there it is, exactly how I want it. What's more, you can stack up multiple events for the same time slot. Just add as many events as you need for the same day and time. Don't forget to pick a contrasting color for each event to keep things clear. And just like that, the time slot is neatly divided into two. Pretty slick, right? One more important thing, when you update a repeating event, you'll get a few handy options to decide exactly how the changes apply. This event updates only this one specific event in the series. This and following events updates this event and all the future ones in the series. All events updates every single event in the series, including past, present and future. For example, if you want to change the event title or details for all instances of this event, no matter when they occur. For this one, I'll stick with the first option. Now, if you are deleting a recurrent event, you'll see similar options. This event deletes only this specific event. This and following deletes this event and all future ones in the series, I mean, at the same time. 
all events deletes all events with the same name and time across the calendar and all events in the calendar deletes all events with the same name no matter the time slot nice and flexible right all right we've added all your events to the calendar great start now it's time to showcase them on your site first head over to the page or post where you want the events calendar to appear open it up in the wordpress block editor from there just drag and drop the events calendar block onto the page easy right once it's in place take a look at the settings panel on the right Choose the calendar you want to display from the drop-down menu under Calendars. Good. Now pick your preferred view, monthly, weekly, or whatever suits your vibe. Next up, you can fine-tune the details. You can set the start and end times for the events you want to show. Adjust uh, the hour intervals for monthly or daily timetables. Uh, want to keep things neat? You can hide specific days of the week if needed. Play around with the calendar width. Uh, it's customizable too. Just tweak the block layout settings and choose the width that best suits your WordPress theme. Oh, and here is a cool trick. You can select multiple calendars if you like. Events from all the selected calendars will combine into one seamless display. Feeling creative? Uh, try out pre-made block patterns to add a stylish background or fun layout to your schedule. But if you're more into it, the classic approach, shirt codes work perfectly fine too. One final thing to keep in mind. Any changes you make in the Edit Event tab will apply globally. That means all events with the same name across every time slot will update automatically. And here it is. You're all set to let your calendar shine on the front end. Last but not least, the plugin does not automatically adjust event times based on your visitors' time zones. Instead, the event time you set in the calendar will display exactly as you entered it for everyone who views the site. This means visitors need to manually convert the event time to their own time zone if it's relevant to them. If you're running events for an international audience, it's a good idea to mention the time zone to avoid confusion. To sum up, in today's video, we walked you through everything you need to know about the MotoPress Events Calendar plugin, from installing the plugin to creating both one-time and recurring events. We've covered it all. You've learned how to manage your events with ease, customize them to fit your needs, and even display them seamlessly on your WordPress site. Plus, we've explored how to handle multi-day events and a few neat tricks for organizing your calendar. Now you're equipped with everything you need to take control of your scheduling, streamline your workflow, and make your events shine. Thanks for tuning in. Got questions or want to share how you're using the plugin? drop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Happy planning and don't forget to subscribe for more WordPress tips and tools. And I'll catch you in the next video.